want to earn $100,000 a year off of a single tent, well, these glamping tents are doing nearly four times as well as their competition. Earning $100,000 a year off of a single tent might seem like a stretch. And if you spend any amount of time researching on Airbnb's website, you'll see that most glamping tents don't come anywhere near this amount of money. So what are the underperforming glamping stays doing wrong that the more lucrative and popular glamping stays are doing right? I've closely studied the strategy behind these successful glamping stays, and I figured out the three simple features that make them some of the most lucrative on Airbnb's platform. A little later in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do this market research for yourself. But first, we need to do some quick math. Earning money through a glamping stay is a pretty simple formula. You multiply the occupancy rate by the average nightly rate. And you wanna use these averages because you're gonna have seasonality where you're gonna be busier and earning more money in the popular months and less in the slower. Underperforming glamping stays charge about $150 a night and are occupied a little less than 50% of the year. This equates to just under $30,000 a year in gross revenue. But can you guess how much the successful glamping stays charge that earn double the amount and are occupied 80% of the year? Over 100,000. And yes, you heard that right. Now, a lot of you already know that glamping stays can be pretty lucrative. There's a lot more to it than just throwing up a tent and listing it on Airbnb, which takes us to the first feature that sets these lucrative glamping stays apart. Before I get into the list and I show you exactly how to replicate this success for yourself, hit the like button if you find this content valuable. First, successful glamping hosts make relaxation a primary feature of their stay. They do this by having a hot tub and situating it in front of an amazing view. Given that more than half the people looking on Airbnb are searching for a hot tub, smart hosts are tapping into this popularity and it's getting them 13% higher in occupancy rates. But it's not enough to have a hot tub with the view. These hosts are also emphasizing relaxation by having AC and heat in their tents, making them much more comfortable. And they're also providing a luxury and private bathroom. So while glamping guests would normally be roughing it, they are doing so in a very relaxing and luxurious way. In other words, these smart hosts are creating an invitation. But what exactly is the invitation for? It's for an experience. Smart glamping hosts know how to sell an experience. And this is our second feature. Most hosts know that in order to set their glamping stay apart, they have to have amenities like a hot tub and they have to take great photographs of them. But smart glamping hosts know that they have to take it one step further. Look closely at the photographs of this glamping site and what do you see? Did you catch it? There's a bottle of wine and a charcuterie board staged right in front of that amazing view. And if you check out the reviews, you'll see that the hosts leave that for the guests and the guests absolutely love it. You'll also notice that guests love other things about this day that you should be paying attention to. They've also added string lights, they've situated the tent so that it's very private and has an amazing view of the water, and they've made sure that the location is very serene and quiet. What all of this comes down to is that these hosts know how to create a consistently romantic experience for their guests. This leads them to getting great reviews, which then leads to more people clicking on this listing. So to do this yourself, create themes based on what your guests want to experience be that romance, relaxation, or adventure. Then identify the amenities that make for those types of experiences, provide them, and take amazing photographs. So we've gotten to two items on the list, but there's still an unanswered question. How do the most lucrative glamping stays earn more than $100,000 a year? The answer is the secret sauce to marketing, and that is to create a sense of urgency. Urgency marketing is a strategy to show customers that the product is scarce, grabs their immediate attention, and it compels them to make a purchase. So how are these glamping hosts doing this? Part of the answer is what you've already seen. They've got great amenities that create an amazing experience, and they have great photographs to tell that story. And this all leads to rave reviews. But the other way that they're doing this is very important and you almost wouldn't notice it. Take a look at their calendars and what do you see? They are only open for bookings for a limited amount of time. See, on Airbnb, you can open up your calendar for up to a year, but neither of these hosts do that. Instead, they give customers less choice for the superior product that they offer. This safari tent is only open for three months at a time time, and they tell you so in the listing description. On the other hand, this luxury domes calendar is open for six months at a time. So these hosts make their customers think the product is more scarce than it is, and that is a genius marketing move. Want to find other examples like this? Here's how to do that type of market research. Run a search for most popular glamping stays on Airbnb's website, and this page should pop up. Scroll down and you'll notice that Airbnb has already done the market research for you, and they tell you exactly what amenities 
amenities that guests want in a glamping stay. They are a hot tub, the ability to bring their pet, air conditioning, and a private bathroom. Airbnb has even created a filtered search for you. Click on the private bathroom link, then select the features for hot tub and allows pets. What results are all of the glamping stays that have all four of those features that Airbnb guests want. And you can zoom out on the map to get a more global view of all of the glamping stays that are available. Now you want to look for those glamping stays that have the highest number of reviews because they've been around longer and they're more popular. And just check out the listing. Look at their photographs, read their reviews, and their listing copy. But most importantly, check their calendars to see if they've also create that same sense of urgency that we saw in the last two examples. You'll want to replicate the features and the amenities in these stays, and you'll also want to identify where you can improve. For example, for those glamping stays that allow pets, do they provide amenities to make the pets more comfortable? If not, you should do so. You can add pets pet beds, bowls for food and water, bags for waste, extra leashes, and a pet blanket because most pets, let's face it, are gonna get on the furniture. Now that you know that you have to become great at marketing in order to have a lucrative glamping stay, check out my last video on the things that you need to know before you start a glamping site. Also check out my links down below to become an Airbnb host and earn money when you host your first guest, as well as the items that I recommend to furnish and decorate your Airbnb. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Bye-bye.